Hello and welcome to the Ethical Real Network news segment where basically we talk about news and top events and stories that happened in the previous days or because the thing is is that we can't really exactly give you on time coverage of these events. We can try kind of hard but it might be a little bit difficult to keep up at that rate but I'll do my best. Either way, today we're going to bring you a news story that I found rather interesting and I thought that it would be cool to bring it up with you guys because it's one of those odd stories. I mean, it's nothing really that informative or that special, but it is somewhat weird. So I figured it deserved a coverage story from today. And so what this story is basically about is, as you read in the title, a hotel in Bolivia that's built entirely out of salt. And I mean it 100%. I mean, take a look at the pictures. I mean, it, the hotel is literally built all out of salt. And apparently in order to make a structure like this possible in the first place, it had to be made out of 10,000 tons of salt. Like, you know, the, the regular table salt that guys use. It, would, it took 10,000 tons of that. It sounds like somewhat of a relatively small number in order to make a whole hotel with like a pool, a um, bunch of rooms, a uh, chess table, well, not chess table, a pool table and a bunch of other accommodies for standard hotels. I mean, it's a pretty big project. 10,000 sounds like a little bit of a small amount, but then again, it probably is a lot more than I think. I mean, a ton is definitely a lot of weight. And now, not only that, um, we did a couple of measurements and we said that if you had 10,000 tons of salt, converting that over to the little salt packs that you usually get from like McDonald's and such, it would be 33 billion of those in order to be able to make this hotel. So that's a whole lot of robberies from McDonald's that you guys are going to be doing if you want to build something of equal structure value in somewhere else in the world. The thing about it is that this hotel is actually built in an area of Bolivia where there is actually a massive salt fields for people to be able to get and use for their own accommodations. So, I mean, it's pretty cool. Although, I have to wonder, you know, whose bright idea was it to make a hotel out of this material? I mean, I'm not trying to criticize them or their creativity, but I mean, why salt, you know? I mean, well, whatever. I mean, I haven't heard of it being done before, so I mean, at this point, I guess it's just a matter of choosing a material that no one else has built a big structure out of yet. I'm pretty sure somebody did chocolate. I'm, I'm pretty sure somebody did licorice, so yeah, salt, I guess, is the next thing on the list for people to do something crazy with, and it had to be this. I mean, <clears throat> in terms of salt being good for you, it, it, it supposedly is good, but just not in large quantities, but that can be said for a lot of other things. Apparently, the hotel has extremely strict rules also about licking and consuming the salt that confines the entirety of the walls. Also, the hotel is relatively cheap when you compare it to Manhattan prices or current hotels. It's $135 a night there when you do the conversion of the money system of everything like that. So, it's not that bad of a stay. I mean, if you want to leave smelling like french fries in the morning, it's definitely worth the wait. I mean. It's probably not going to see any kind of entry in America unless maybe a smaller version is built somewhere in like a display museum or something. Because if, if I hear that a salt museum is being built in Brooklyn, hey man, I'm going with fries and potatoes and I'm going to make me some shit. But regardless, man, I just thought it was an interesting story to share with you guys and it's worth a little bit of a laugh. I definitely had one myself. So anyways, I'll talk to you guys later on. This is the new Etical World Network channel, so we are going to slowly be converting everything back to the standard that we usually have at the old channel. So I'll see you guys later on. Take care of yourselves and have a good one.